Most people probably didn't know who Brad Raffensperger was prior to November 3rd, but much like the elections themselves, this state politician was thrust into the national spotlight as the eyes and the ire of the president and others bore down. But under immense pressure, he did not break because he's no stranger to pressure, personal or professional, and he knows how to lean on his faith. We're called to make sure that we just walk that line of integrity. There's no question 65-year-old Brad Raffensperger knows who he is. I'm a constitutional Christian conservative, and I'm real proud, and I'm not changing. So after the November election, when the storm started raging all the way from Washington. He's an enemy of the people, the secretary of state, and whether he's Republican or not. Raffensperger remained grounded. It's inflammatory, but also it just really borders on silly. And at the end of the day, he may be disappointed, but he should have run a better campaign. And I wish he would have. The president blamed the secretary of state for not doing more to stop alleged fraud. They cheated and they rigged our presidential election. The anger only increased when Raffensperger, a Trump supporter, certified the election in Georgia. As secretary of state, I believe that the numbers that we have presented today are correct. The numbers reflect the verdict of the people. But questions persisted, so Raffensperger ordered a hand and machine recount, both confirming the original results. As a Republican, was I disappointed? Of course I was, because I, I vote for my team, which is our Republicans. But as Secretary of State, our job is to follow the law, follow the processes. And I think that integrity still matters. Many Trump supporters were irate, and when Republican senators in the runoff called for Raffensperger's resignation, the atmosphere grew hostile, prompting 24-7 security. As soon as the two senators asked for me to resign, the, the threat started coming in immediately. And so, and they actually came into my wife first. We saw Antifa, we saw BLM, and we said, how come, you know, the, the leaders of the Democrat Party haven't condemned those? And then it comes on our side. And it's like, well, how come our leadership hasn't condemned the, or these threats of violence? Because what they're doing is unpatriotic. As difficult as this election season has been, this is far from the toughest trial Raffensperger has faced in his life. That happened three years ago when his adult son died from an overdose. We've lost a son. And that same son had cancer when he was 26. And, you know, that was, a, you know, a challenging time. We always leaned into our faith and we leaned, leaned into each other. It's just an incredible hurt, incredible pain. It doesn't matter what the reason, what the cause is. You know, it's just deep grief. They're always your child. And it's devastating. And uh, what else can you do? We had something to lean into was each other and our faith in Christ. He credits his faith and a strong marriage for giving him the strength to endure tough times. As a business owner, it's perseverance, sticking with things, and then really just having, you know, I think I have the perfect wife in the world. And I'm just so gra grateful I met Trish in high school and we lived life and uh, we've lived it with the Lord. Raffensperger says he'll continue doing his elected job to the best of his ability, including overseeing elections. He says he's proud of how November 3rd went despite the outcome. It was a very successful election. They say, how could you say that? Because it was a successful election. We had record turnout. We did have record absentee ballots uh, that were sent in. Over 1.3 million voters voted absentee. And as long as we have folks with that personal integrity, you know, democracy and the constitutional republic will be safe here in the state of Georgia. It's a tough job, but Raffensperger does not shrink back. In fact, he tells me voters can look for his name on the ballot in 2022 as he seeks to serve another term as Secretary of State. I asked him if he had gubernatorial aspirations as his predecessor Brian Kemp did. Of course, Kemp went on to be governor. Raffensperger says he is focused on the job at hand. In Washington, Eric Phillips, CBN News.